The third phase leaders of the presidential amnesty program, PAP, are trying to close the information gap between the ex-agitators and the amnesty office for better understanding and smooth sailing of the process in order to put an end to years of protest. The Niger Delta X agitator stated in a meeting held in Yenugua that most problems encountered during the program leading to incessant blockade of the East-West Road bordered on ignorance, comprehension, and the absence of a proper information distribution channel from the amnesty office to the ex-militants. The third phase leaders say they are now willing to fill in the gap and ensure that the aims and objectives of the presidential amnesty program meant to bring peace and stability to the Niger Delta can be achieved, even as they expect the federal government to carry every one of them along. A lot of persons have been misled to carry out actions, negative actions against the office and against the uh, program. So we, as critical stakeholders, we don't want anything that will jeopardize the effort of this program. We will stand the chance to benefit more. And if we are jeopardizing this program by our own self, it then means we cannot, this program cannot be a successful one. My advice for my third phase delegate and other beneficiaries in the program is that always liaise with the leadership at your domain. Anything you don't understand, liaise with your leadership. To a large extent, the cause of the blockade or steady protest of the East-West Road, precisely in Biama, is because the people lack information. People are not giving the rightful information to the delegates. So by so doing, everybody who is not properly briefed will take hunger to the road. But today, as I speak to you, for a very long period of time, since we have taken actions, a very long period of time, the issue of blockade in the East-West Road is minimized. And to a large extent, within the shortest time, it will be a thing of the past. We'll engage the authorities by dialoguing. Then, we are still clamoring for increase of stipend. Since 2009, the same as 65,000 Naira. Then, they also got it wrong by not making provision for the leaders. The leaders and the beneficiaries are receiving the same 65,000 Naira stipend. And that is the reason why most of the leaders tempers with their followers stipend. Now you are paying a leader 65,000 and he has other followers which the federal government failed to capture during the time of uh, uh, disarmament. So how can that leader cater for those persons that are left behind? So the only way for him to get it right is to collect from these persons that are being captured so they can reach out to these other persons. If you look about the data as is, you will see that so many people have not been carried along. Today we are calling on point no other person than the IA or presidential amnesty, which is Barry in Jumu, to look into in every area, every local government, every state. Nobody should be marginalized. Everybody should be carried along. I want to also thank him for this turn up of the loan scheme he has brought into the amnesty program. Today we are thanking him, but we want to we want him to also dig well, to go into this scheme, to dig well, to make sure that every individual in this program being carried along. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.